Welcome back to a little bit of Lisp, and this time we're just looking at three things um, from the numeric system in Common Lisp I didn't know were there originally. Um, I think are worth pointing out. The first thing is that Lisp handles big numbers very gracefully. Uh, so if you evaluate something, you're going to get a precise result. Um, you don't have to worry, by default, um, about hitting the end of a range of a number. Say if you've got an int or a long and you're multiplying two large ints together, if it overflows, what's the behavior? Well, in common less what the default is, we're going to promote it to a suitable type so you can get an exact result. Um, there are implementation specific things you can do to get different results. Um, I'll leave that to both the spec and your implementation to define, but this is what you can expect by default. And another nice consequence of that is things like fractions being supported. So if you divide one by three, you don't get some floating point approximation of a third, you get a third. And of course the uh, standard kind of operations still work. So you can um, multiply together fractions and you get another exact fraction. If at any point you want that to be a float, of course you can just request a float. Or if at the beginning um, you were using floats in there, then you're gonna, it, that float is gonna kind of pollute, <laughs> propagate is probably the correct word, uh, through the um, computation. So that's very nice. Another nice thing is, uh, say you've got the square root of uh, some number. If it's positive, of course, it's a, it's a regular value, but if it's negative, the result will be complex. So complex numbers are supported out of the box as well. Um, that's just very handy. Again, by default, let's give you a sensible value. Um, and big numbers obviously apply in all these places as well. So that's cool. That's the three things I wanted to touch on. It's just a quick video this time, but thanks for stopping by. Cheers.